Hi there, Tim Lee Legacy Studio. Welcome back to another music reaction video. We've been given an incredible gift by Tony Allen, our legacy historian, one of our legacy historians. He got us this UHQR, which is called an ultra high quality record uh, of Asia Steely Dan, the album. And we've been listening through a couple songs. We're two songs in right now. We're about to go to side B on disc one and continue our journey through this incredible experience. If you're curious what I'm doing here, I have an Audio Technica ATLP 60X. It's a very affordable turntable. We're shooting audio right now through Aris 3.1 uh, speakers. I also have a Pioneer subwoofer underneath. I forget which model that one is, honestly. Um, and then what we do, so you get the exact same experience that I get, is we utilize this H6, uh, um, what is this, a Zoom H6, uh, and it's got an XY, XY microphone on it, and it allows us to record exactly what I hear exactly in my studio, so you get the same taste of it, and I simply edit that over top of the audio uh, during my reaction, so that you get the purest audio form as I get, while I'm reacting to it. It is so much fun to experience music this way. It is the purest form of audio and it is, oh, it's magical. It really, really is. Um, I reacted to Asia uh, in my first video, which is my first experience playing this UHQR and my brain imploded. I was dumbfounded and nearly went to tears over how incredible this sounded. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this here. I'm going to flip the disc over here. And today we're listening to a new song that I haven't heard yet. And I'm very excited about this one. This is Deacon Blues. You folks have been telling me that I should listen to this one. Uh, it's uh, going to be 7 minutes and 26 seconds long according to this. Take up the whole backside of the record. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to this. So we're going to hit play here and get this going. Once again, if you enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and, and, and. If you choose to go and buy this record for yourself, it's $150. They only have 30,000 of these. We rush to get ours. And um, when it comes down to it, I would love it if you go to Acoustic Sound where we bought ours, send them a note that you decided to get it because of Tim Lee's reaction to the disc. It would mean a lot to me because if we can make those partnerships, then maybe we can make this a norm, a, a, a more important part of the channel. Not just reviewing stuff on YouTube like everybody else is doing. How amazing would it be to actually get to continue doing record reactions? I would love to do that with you. I think that helps continue to bring uh, the culture back in where it belongs. I think that'd be amazing. All right, let's get into this. Here we go. The UHQR, Steely Dan. We're listening to Deacon Blues. I've never heard this one yet, so this is going to be interesting. Here we go. Nice hi hat. Nice. The voices are so crisp. I love it.
Very cool. Very cool. just hiding in the background. A little popping, clicking feeling. Oh man, so good.
Ah, oh, man, when you can listen to it all night long, but someone's got to turn that fader down and cut the song off. Oh, that's great. Oh, you know, we keep it clean here. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> wow, what a great song. What a great song. That's the first time I've heard that one. That is very, very good. I enjoyed that very much. I hope you did too. Um, once again, I'm going to record this here in a minute. And what you've just heard is the splicing of this microphone that I'm wearing and that together. So hopefully it sounds good. But please remember, just like artwork, uh, like, like my paintings that I have back here on the wall, um, I don't care how good someone can take a picture of my painting that I've painted. It never puts out the same feelings as seeing it in person and experience, experiencing it in person. There's something emotional about that. So I need to say that same thing is going to happen here. It doesn't matter how good I record this or how careful I am to get this as intricately recorded as possible. There's still something incredible about experiencing it in person. So go consider getting this for yourself. If you do, please let them know that Tim Lee sent you by. I'd love to partner up with them and see if we could do something even bigger to be a reaction video that helps bring culture back. And you know, we keep it clean here. First Tim 412, I wanna honor God, I wanna honor my family, and I wanna make a difference in the world. And I am realizing as I'm listening to this beautiful analog music that people have been missing out uh, because we are missing what made this so incredible. And now that we have more technology making the sound even more incredible, not only can the audiophiles enjoy this to its fullest, but now we can too, you know? This is a very affordable turntable. The most expensive part of this is the record itself. And so it means a lot to me to be that guy that has the opportunity to help someone else find incredible music and find what I've now experienced. It's really, really amazing. So. Humongous thanks to Tony Allen. The only reason we're doing this is because Tony Allen purchased this record for us, and it just is a whole new experience. It really, really is. Um, so humongous thanks to him. All of our legacy historians, I'm going to flash up everyone's names on the screen here really quick. Our early access historians get early access to all my videos as soon as I release them. My Vanguard historians get to come into our uh, members lounge in our Discord, as well as join me live when I'm editing uh, and working in my studio. So you can actually watch me work live on whatever projects I'm working on, whether it's someone else's project or my one of my videos or whatever the case may be. Um, you can come in and watch. And then legacy historians get shouted out. For instance, Tony Allen, Sean Hammond, and the, uh, there's a new member that we have here right now, Real BSer, and uh, humongous thanks to, to Real, because honestly, as I've been talking with him, he mentioned about being 60 years old and really, really wanting to make sure that the culture of this music remains in the world, and if we lose that, we lose so much, and I have to very much agree with him. And so making sure that we're getting this kind of stuff out there and making a difference in the world is a big, big deal. Thank you so much for listening. I want to make a quick mention here. The way that this channel works and what makes this channel click, the behind the scenes that makes this so important is that we're trying to leave a godly legacy here. I want to leave a legacy that my wife can be proud of. I want to leave a legacy that I can be proud of. And I want this to be a place where young people can come in here uh, and not be affected by the world in a negative way. Uh, so certain songs have me more concerned than others. So I want to make a little statement here. I'm not going to go preaching. I just want to keep it really short and sweet. Um, it, when I put songs on the channel, I try to listen to the lyrics a little bit to make sure that I have an understanding on what the song's about. And in this situation with Deacon Blues, they're talking about the idea of having sex with multiple women. They're talking about the idea of, um, of getting so drunk and then driving your car to your death. And when it comes to those kinds of things, obviously I don't want to spread that out into the world as a good thing, per se. I want to make sure that I leave a legacy here that's godly. So when it's like, well, are you going to put this song on your YouTube channel? The answer is yes, I'm going to put this song on my YouTube channel. But I want to make it clear that this is up to interpretation and that the one thing I will not do is I will not have foul language here on the channel. Uh, I, I won't have very, very obvious, bold sexual innuendo. I will not have songs talking to that extreme. There's going to be certain points in time where I'm going to 
cut the line and say, no, this is not going to happen. I would say in the majority of this song, it doesn't go that direction, and so I'm going to say this song is okay. I don't have a game plan on how I'm going to judge which song is going to get through the Tim censorship block and which ones are not. No, this is off my spirit. This is off my gut. I want to make sure that the culture of this music does continue into the world, but I want to make sure that we do it in a very careful, cautious, and meaningful and purposeful way. I'm sure you understand that. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I just want to make sure that I make it clear that there's going to be certain times where we're going to play a song and it's not going to happen. I'm not going to upload it. And you're like, well, why would you say that Deacon Blues can go on the air, but not the other one? It's going to be a personal choice. This isn't, uh, the way I put this is, this is a dictatorship. I'm in charge, you're in my house, and I'm making the final decision. And it won't always make sense. I'm just going to be going with my spirit, going with my gut. And that's about as simple as it is. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. This is so incredible to listen to live. Get this record for yourself, put it on your, your turntable at home, and you get a real taste of what real music sounds like. It's so beautiful. I'll see you in the next one, folks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.